Hi guys, Ant from UK Fountain Pens here to talk about the Lamy Dialog CC. Uh, this is a pen that's been on the horizon for a long time. Um, it was announced, it must be a couple of years ago now, uh, Covid and, and the like got in the way. Uh, I've had a pre-order in, I cancelled it, but I've ordered it again and uh, thanks to Iguana Cell for the speedy delivery. Um, the concept of the Dialog CC is that it is a smaller version of the Dialog 3, which is uh, Lamy's absolutely huge tubular re um, retractable nib pen. So this, uh, my, my, one of my main complaints about the Dialog CC and why I sold mine, uh, Dialog 3 and why I sold mine was that it was too big. Uh, so this should really uh, solve the that problem. Um, this is a retractable nib pen. I have another retractable nib pen here in the um, usual pilot capless. You can see that uh, it is a much shorter, the Dialog CC is a much shorter pen than the 3. Uh, obviously the unusual thing about retractable nib pens is they get longer when you uncap them. Um, the capless gets shorter because of the knock and you can see that when uh, when the nib is extended it's more or less the same size as a pilot capless. Um, this is a lovely uh, well-finished and attractive pen with a rose gold ro roll stop, little uh, rose gold uh, dome over the nib, uh, curious bi-curved uh, rose gold uh, finial here, and the overall uh, sort of piano white finish, it makes it look feminine, potentially, certainly different from the usual black, black pen brigade. The mechanism in the interior uh, is exactly the same uh, as the Dialog 3. You end up with this pen unit into which the converter or cartridge sits. It's the standard Lamy Z55 gold nib. In this case, it's bicolored with a little gold strip down where the slit goes. This unit screws in, like so. The rear of the pen screws on, and then you actuate the nib by twisting about 90 degrees, out pops the nib, twist it back, and there is a little detent, which show, shows you that it's properly shut. I haven't noticed any drying out. That was a complaint with some of the early Dialog 3s. My Dialog 3 didn't dry out, so I didn't particularly worry about this one. Um, in the hand, it feels chunky. This is a fairly broad, obviously you're, you're gripping the barrel here rather than some distinct section, and uh, it is approximately, 14 millimeters across so you know good chunky size it's got a good weight to it as well although it's not very very long as these things go um the roll stop doesn't get in the way i didn't find the dialogue threes clip particularly got in the way it's a much lower profile than say on the capless um the nib as always with these has softness uh it's very smooth in every direction uh it is a wonderful writer uh it is wet and exactly how I like my nibs. Um, all of which makes the Dialog CC a bit of a home run for me. Uh, it looks like nothing else. It solves the size problem of the uh, Dialog 3. Um, it's really easy to twist out and back. Uh, and you can do it one-handed, which is important. Um, it doesn't dry out. It writes really well. Uh, and I find it very, very comfortable. Just the right size, just the right weight in the hand. So... For a list price that's somewhere in the order of £280, you can get it cheaper. Um, you're getting a gold nib pen with some really exclusive engineering uh, and that ticks all the boxes in comfort, writing experience and so on. Um, my one criticism, and it's a very minor one, is that the rear of the pen, there's a little catch there. It's not quite straight all the way around. There's a little bit of a flare. And because of the reflectivity of this surface, you can really see that there's a, a, a it's not quite a perfect join. And when you've got such a sort of seamless construction like this, you really want it to be perfect. Um, that's my only complaint. Um, I really like this pen. And uh, I think if, you, if you're into your retractable pens, this is a big step up from the Dialog 3 and a really great alternative to the Pilot Capless. So there you go. Thank you very much. Uh, look out for a full written review on UK Fountain Pens at some point in the future.